Some news broke a couple days ago that kind of flew under the radar because of Comic-Con, um, but I'm here to report on it, because if I don't, only like 3,000 other people will on YouTube and TikTok, so here it is. The Inheritance Cycle book series is finally getting another shot on the screen, this time in the form of a Disney Plus TV series. Dear gods, why? Now to some, this is gonna be very good news as they're liking what Disney Plus has been putting out with shows like WandaVision, Loki, Miss Marvel, The Book of Boba Fett, The Mandalorian. I mean, the list goes on and on. I think there's only a couple more, but still, you get my point. And Disney Plus is also working on a Percy Jackson TV series. Now those movies kinda sucked. The first one's passable, the second one's just an embarrassment. They didn't even bother finishing. Um, so I kind of am like, all right, Percy Jackson could work on Disney Plus if they put in some good money, time, and effort into it and really focus on that script and getting it right. The tone is going to be very important for that series. But now we have book one of the Inheritance Cycle, Aragon. Not to be confused with the king himself, Aragorn, from Lord of the Rings. It's a little confusing, I understand. Aragon is the first book in the Inheritance Cycle, a brilliant forology. Quadology, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I love that series. It's one of my favorites. It's amongst the top when it comes to young adult books, which apparently is all I read. As a young adult, it speaks to me. Creator of the series, Christopher Paolini, is very excited about this. I guess it's been in the works for a very long time, years and years, probably decades, honestly. We all remember the travesty that was Aragon of the early 2000s. Uh, what, a, what a disaster. I never saw it. Thankfully, I avoided it like the plague as I heard horrible things about it and I didn't even read the books at that time. So I did things right. I finally got around to reading those things. Highly recommend them if you haven't. There's only four and they are just beautifully written pieces of work. I did unfortunately see The Last Airbender, the M. Night Shyamalan pile of shit based on the animated series. One of the greatest, nigh the greatest animated TV show, full stop. But back to this Disney Plus thing, where I think Percy Jackson probably will do okay is it has the right tone for Disney Plus. Aragon, however, is more adult than Percy Jackson or Harry Potter. It's more in line with Hunger Games. And we saw how well those worked as PG-13, right? They were definitely missing something. So here we are again with Aragon going to Disney Plus and I'm just thinking, no, I don't think it's gonna work. I hope I'm wrong because this could absolutely be an incredible series. And after reading those books a second time, I was just thinking, why has this not been adopted again? Why has no one taken a stab at making this an amazing film series? But now here we are with the show. I'm concerned. I could see Disney Plus taking that first book and making it like four seasons. They, they will overstretch this shit if they can. That's what all these streaming services are doing. They're taking a simple script with a beginning, middle, and ending, and they're saying, this is 12 episodes, or this is two seasons. I mean, I just talked about The Boys recently, how it feels like it's being disingenuous now with its finale of season three. They got to a perfect place to really set the stakes, but instead they pushed out and they, they kind of reset things back a season. Movies, I feel like, are an easier sell. They're, it's an easier way to hook people. You just make one killer film, and then the rest is gold. Then you just, you Harry Potter this thing. You keep getting a little darker every time. You set the stage, you set the expectations, and then you just keep trucking. But with a show, there's just a lot of layer to it. There's a lot of balls to juggle and things can go wrong real fast. Safira stands out there. I wanna hear your thoughts on this. Are you excited about a potential show on Disney Plus? They're very early in talks still, but it sounds like it's going forward. Or are you like me and you're a bit trepidatious? Trepidatious, however you wanna say that. Uh, I, I think this is troublesome, that's all. Part of me is excited, but there's a bigger cause for concern here based on the track record of these Disney shows. Let me know in the comments, like the video if you had some fun. Please think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV show related content here each and every week. I'd love to have you stick around. Take care.